Okay, y'all, what is up? It's the homie Koru back with another video here for you guys today. And we've been going over some stuff on the channel. If you've been following up with the videos about magic, about my story, about the subconscious mind, about your belief systems. And so I wanted to kind of put some of that together in a real basic way and basically say that if you could change your beliefs, you can change your life. And the importance of your subconscious mind can't be understated. That's where all of your belief systems live. That's where all of the programs that run your life, that run on repeat in your subconscious mind stay. So the question is, how would you actually go about changing those? And the answer to that is that basically your conscious mind has to attach itself to a new belief, a new idea and that might be uncomfortable so for instance if you were going to change your beliefs about money for example you'd say well i can't make enough money i can't i'm, I'm always going to be poor i'm you know only evil people make money whatever beliefs you have about money that are holding you back and keeping you in a position that you don't want to be in ideally essentially what you would have to do is you'd have to change that perspective and change that by belief consciously by Instead of telling yourself the old beliefs, you'd tell yourself the new beliefs. I am abundant. I make more than enough money. I continually make more money than I even need. I am, you know, you would change your beliefs by reinserting a new belief system into your subconscious. And the way you would do that is through habit. If you say that once to yourself and then you end up not making enough money that you would like, then you cannot go back to your old belief system and say, well, look, this is proof. This is proof that the old belief system was actually true. Uh, God calls seen things that are unseen as though they were seen and the unseen becomes seen. You have to initialize the process and initialize the belief within yourself. And you have to do it basically every day. You have to basically go back to that, that affirmation that you have every day say i am abundant i have more than i need i am living in abundance abundance comes to me money comes to me you have to change that mindset and believe that every day and i will tell you it, it's uncomfortable it starts to be uncomfortable at first because your subconscious its whole in, entire purpose is to basically keep you safe and it's basically to keep you going so your it it rules over your heart it rules over your internal organs and its job is to keep you at a proper level and so what will happen is if you're not comfortable with making more money than you're already making for example then it might even feel strange if you do get a little more money than you're used to you might be like do i deserve this am i ready for this and so what you have to do is you have to assert to your subconscious by way of affirmation what you would like to see in your life and what you believe about yourself and about your life. And so that will subtly, consistently over time, create a change in your subconscious that will eventually show up in your life. And it really is more like believing is seeing. And it's, you know, there's those old sayings, believing is seeing or seeing is believing. And you cannot go through life and only find what you see to be what you believe because there's a good chance that what you see and what you affirm to yourself based on the things that you might see in your life are going to be reaffirming these beliefs that you have about yourself or about life or about the way that life works and it might feel really strange again to change that belief and to try and adopt this new belief you know again you know only moral people um are poor Moral people are poor. They can't make money. It's impossible to be virtuous and make money. Is that a belief system you have? Get rid of it. Get rid of it. I am abundant. I experience the fullness of life. I am so grateful that I am living life more abundantly than ever before. And you really have to embody that. And it's really going to take time and it's going to feel uncomfortable. But you have to decide what you believe and you have to completely reaffirm it every time that it doesn't happen for you immediately. It's going to take time. And I like to think of it like you're planting a seed. If you plant a seed, you have to give it time to really find its roots and to really find its 
its life and you have to continue to give it water and you have to continue to create the right environment for it and so that it can grow and become um, a healthy plant. And you might have weeds in the way. You might have old belief systems in the way that you need to uproot and get rid of while you're trying to install these new belief systems. But affirmations are an excellent way to try and start installing um, your new belief system. Watch out and be careful of the types of things you watch, the types of things you listen to, the types of people you listen to, the types of people you hang out with. All of these things are all going to start stacking on one another and building your belief systems about life. You know, you might not realize the types of people that you attracted into your life that are that have these old types of belief systems where you you talk to them and you both agree wow yeah only evil people make money i'm just really harping on the money thing but this goes for relationships this goes for um just anything in your life that you could imagine to be completely honest like you can you can totally change your life and your belief systems but it's gonna be a conscious process that takes time it takes time and repetition and the more dramatically you can install it into your subconscious, the more the higher chance it has to succeed and you can't give up on it. You can't give up on it because again, if you it's like going to the gym, right? If you go to the gym and you're like, I want to be ripped, but I'm super fat right now. It's like, cool. Well, you can't just go lift 200 pounds once and try and get it an inch off the ground and then be like, why am I not ripped? I mean, life works in a certain way and installing new beliefs in your subconscious works a certain way and it takes time you got to work start working out the muscles of your belief systems so start crafting ideas and beliefs that you would love to have about your life and you have to almost you know um you know kind of like be sort of like almost i'm not going to say that word you almost have to just ignore the types of patterns that you see in your life that you're used to because you have to fill into a new and maybe uncomfortable position that you're not used to because if you're going to change change can be uncomfortable and it's not what you're used to so you're going to have to fill out this new sort of mold for yourself but you have to be able to imagine it first you have to be able to imagine these new belief systems for yourself and you have to keep your vision on that in order to start manifesting it for your life. I hope that makes sense. The more I do these videos, the more that I'm going to try and keep getting into some of the nitty gritty of different techniques, different available um, options that you have for ways that you can go about this. Um, in my next video, I'm going to go over a scenario that I had in my life where I had a vision in my mind, I went to go manifest it, and I gave up uh, at least twice. <laughs> but I ended up manifesting it, and it took time, and it was a huge learning process. So stay tuned for that video, and remember, it might take time. It might take, you know, getting used to a new set of beliefs before you can actually start seeing results. But trust me, they're out there. They're waiting for you. The universe wants you to be abundant. It wants you to have the life that you deserve. And so do I. And so peace, love, light. Have a great one. I hope this video helps. If it does, like, subscribe, share it with everybody you know. Um, and I'll see you for the next one. Thank you so much. Peace.